To prove that sine to the 4 plus 2 sine squared cos squared plus cos to the 4 equals 1, the thing I really want you to be able to see is that this equation is factorable. Um, it is a perfect square trinomial because the square root of this is sine squared, the square root of this is cos squared, and 2 times sine squared cos squared is that middle term it ends up factoring perfectly into a perfect square trinomial. So the shortest solution here is for you to simply rewrite that this is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta. That's square root of this plus the square root of that all squared. Sine squared plus cos squared, the very middle of this ends up being one and one squared is one. Therefore, the left side equals the right side. Maybe you're really not a fan of that though. Maybe you say, I prefer replacing ones with the Pythagorean identity. Well, don't worry. You can also have done it this way. You can start with the right side, which was one, and be like, oh, that was one squared. Now I'm gonna replace that one with sine squared plus cos squared, that's the Pythagorean identity. But in order to deal with this squared, you actually have to write it out twice and foil it. The reason I'm showing you this is some kids are more comfortable with this foiling, but oh lord, is it better for you to be able to see that it was a perfect square trinomial over there. This foiling is going to be nobody's friend. First times first, sine squared times sine squared gives me sine to the four. Ah, oh, see? Sine squared times cos squared is sine squared cos squared. Not much more you can do with that. Cos squared times sine squared is the same thing. I'm just gonna rewrite it in that order. We just write sine squared ahead of cos squared by convention. And then cos squared times cos squared gives me cos to the four of theta. Now the only other thing to do here is to note that we have one sine squared cos squared and we're adding another one sine squared cos squared. That's what lets this fall out to become sine to the four plus two sine squared cos squared plus cos to the 4. Nice. That now equals the left side. Which way do you prefer? Hey, there's no right answer for that. In both of these cases, you celebrate solving the identity by saying, therefore, left side equals right side, and therefore, sine to the 4 plus 2 sine squared cos squared plus cos to the 4 equals 1. Done. Good luck.